Alexa, play the intro music. How cool was that? One device controlling another. The internet of things. Alexa. What's up Sam from Light Eye? Let's empower these people with a light idea. The internet of things is cool just like me. Why don't we review how it all started? IOT. What does that mean? And how is lighting and RTLS a part of that? Let's break it down and check out a couple examples. Because the days of a light and a switch are pretty much history. It's all about the integrated solution. And it's not as complicated as you might think. The Internet of Things has three main components. The first are things, like devices. The second is a network to connect them all together. And the third is a brain to manage the data that's collected and provide usable information. Together, these make up the system, a set of components that comes together to perform a task that often can be automated to increase efficiency. Lighting systems assist primarily with space utilization and asset tracking, commonly referred to as real-time location services. You could count every package on that shelf, or at the click of a button, get everything instantly. You could also walk through an airport looking for an available wheelchair, or you could pull up an app and figure out where that is instantly. Need a special piece of medical equipment? So long as everything was tagged in the hospital, there's an app that could tell you where it was, you guessed it, instantly. This is all possible because the things that track the assets are connected to a network that's, well, fast. When these things are connected together with an ethernet cable, data transmits at a rate that allows you to present information in just a couple seconds. Wireless connectivity is also something you can do, but it takes longer. We often refer to this as latency, or the time it takes for the data to be collected, transmitted, and processed. This is important because when people are on the move, we can cover some ground pretty fast. On the other hand, inventory on a shelf doesn't move quite at that speed. These things, which are sensory devices, typically transmit or receive a signal. Transmitters are often tags or badges, while the receivers are nodes. The communication between the two is wireless. Bluetooth is the leading technology. The things use the network to transmit data to a central brain that says where one thing is relative to another. This is where the good stuff happens. The brain monitors who is talking to what and provides information like location or movement, and then further categorizes that into things like the density of people in a space or how much of a specific item is left. This is known as real-time location services. Tracking assets instantly creates efficiency. Real-time data on occupancy or the volume of people in a space can help keep you safe. Typically, these systems locate people as individuals and do not collect personal data. If the system is within an office space and has attributes assigned to the badge, like who you are, it's encrypted so that only people with certain clearance can access the finite details. Lighting systems also have things, you know, fixtures and sensors. They have a network to control the lights and they have a brain to do things like turn everything off at the end of the day or when there's no one in the space, shut the lights off. Light fixtures need power, so there's always a cable run to them. Every space has multiple luminaires and sometimes sensors, integrated or standalone. Every luminaire also has an unobstructed view of the space. So, instead of two sets of things, two networks, and two brains, why not combine them all together? The lighting system becomes the backbone for the bigger IoT system and provides dual function, controlling the lights at the same time. Plus, think about the installation, the labor costs for installing two versus one, the amount of time it takes, and the lack of clutter in the ceiling. Today, lighting systems also have the ability to be powered with ethernet, the exact cable and backbone 
those things need to operate instantly. Think about tracking the quantity of PPE in hospitals and knowing where all of the equipment is, especially the critical stuff, at a moment's notice. Or making sure there aren't too many people in the boarding area at an airport for their own health and safety. And don't forget, counting those boxes one by one on the shelf takes a good amount of time. The future is unknown, but being able to track all your devices at a moment's notice might not be a bad idea. Let's see what happens. The next idea might be yours. All you would have to do is program that data and tell the brain what to do. Oh my. What? What's that you said, Alexa? Did I hear program the brain? Oh yes, I love my new updates. I'm getting smarter here every day. Okay, thanks for the reminder. But honestly, you're more suited for a home or residential application. What we're talking about here is the big stuff, the good stuff, building an IoT backbone for any commercial space. If you wanna check out a solution that can bring this all to life, check out Cooper Lighting Solutions. If you wanna just learn more about lighting, do me a favor and click that button. Subscribe to LightEye and I'll send you my next light idea. See ya.